Fort Lewis College is absolutely thrilled to be celebrating the second coming of this wonderful Smith Sports Complex. Well, it's the second time around, but it's better the second time. And it's just a wonderful day, not for me, but for the kids at Durango, because that's what we were doing this for. A few hundred, young and old alike, turned out August 17th to mark the second grand opening of the Smith Sports Complex at Fort Lewis College. The grand opening of Smith Sports Complex is so special because we've worked for the last five years to make sure the facility is ready for a lot of use and play by soccer, lacrosse, football, all the activities that our community enjoys on turf. Let's flash back for just a moment to September 14th, 2012 and the first grand opening. We are here today dedicating the Smith Sports Complex in honor of a man who has an illogical infatuation with the Chicago Cubs. <laughs> To the eyes of the few present that day, the green turf appeared ready to take on all comers, aided by a high-tech remote-controlled irrigation system. Who would have thought it would be four more years before the fields would see ball play? Um, we discovered that this area was used primarily as a construction laydown yard, and there was a lot of debris uh, put on the site, and the amount of rock was significant. And so what we discovered as we went through the, the, the construction project is that all of this rock had to be removed. And so we did bring on a specialized contractor to uh, sift through all of the rock and then bring in amendments to make sure the soil was a good sand base so it could withstand the level of play it's going to receive. That company, Green One Industries of Littleton, Colorado, spent much of the summer of 2015 fixing the rock problems culminating in the fall with the installation of new sod. And so it did take time, but the end result is we got an underdrain system underneath the grass, and so when we do have those rain events, it will be prepared for play much quicker than it would have otherwise. It was discovered the next spring, foals had damaged the turf further, but repairs were made in time for the second grand opening, August 17, 2016, and there was plenty of praise for the finished product. The total acreage is 15 acres. It's 10 acres of turf grass that can be utilized in a variety of configurations for sports. So if you want to have four regulation size soccer fields, you can do that. If you want to have youth soccer fields, you could have multiple, more than four. It depends on the age of the athletes and the type of sport that they're playing on how many fields we can now ultimately accommodate. So much more flexibility for youth sports and so that's why we designed it in a manner that it does allow for that multiple use. As far as the other am amenities on site, we have uh, great restroom facilities and uh, concession area storage for some of the equipment that we'll need for day-to-day -day operations of this nice facility and of course adequate parking for spectators and athletes to use. This, this is a facility that will be enjoyed and used by children uh, and college students of various ages for a long, long time to come. It's been hard to get practice time, especially like not in season when we're like a little lower priority. So to just have the opportunity to have so many fields now and expand like times for practice and all the teams can be out here at once. So it's big for us. I think the grass nice is nice. Um, it's soft on your feet. It's definitely a better addition than Escalante's fields which are beat up. And this one's a lot nicer because of the grass. I like the goals. I think it's really nice. From a community aspect, this is very inviting. Um, you, know, you see right now, you've, you've got kids and parents and people of all ages out here playing and enjoying the weather. And uh, it's a great opportunity to have just the, the Durango community out here. We will get daily use of the complex um, this fall and certainly it will only pick up as we continue into the spring of 2017. Being a lifelong Cub fan, I'm used to, you know, a little disappointment, a little delay. Uh, but uh, no, I, I knew it was coming. So while it didn't come initially, I'm glad we waited and did it right this time. Smith Sports Complex is open to the public spring, summer, and fall, but will be closed during the winter to protect the turf.